All right, we're here with Fleckus Talks. We are outside the White House. You're about to go into the social media summit. Now, Fleckus, if you had one question to ask the president, what would that be? I'm wondering if he'd support the idea of an Internet Bill of Rights. I think a lot of people have kind of brought up this idea, and I think it's something that we kind of need. You know, times have progressed, technology-wise especially, and we kind of need to be all on the same page and treat it fairly online. So I think an Internet Bill of Rights would be kind of cool. What would you like to see happen as far as with Congress? I mean, would you like to see any hearings or any breaking up of Google and Facebook? Yeah, I think that could be appropriate. I think more hearings, more whistle more whistleblowers is always good. And I think kind of once we see the insides, inside workings and how uh, how it works there, I think the public will be exposed to some harsh truths that I think are pretty detrimental to our culture and free speech in general. So I think if we can kind of just keep flashing a light in these dark places, uh, eventually it will be treated fairly, whether they like it or not. What do you think about Infowars and Alex Jones being banned and taken down? I think it's uh, I think it's horrible. I mean, I've been a fan of Infowars. I go on Owen's show. I go. I've been on Alex's show before. Um, it's just terrible to see someone completely deplatformed and in modern day deep person. Basically, it's almost like a death sentence. You can't get your voice out there. Uh, luckily, Alex's and your guys' audience is so big and so loyal that they're able to follow him to you know his personal website or th this show's website. But other people don't have that luxury. You know, if you're a smaller creator and you get deplatformed early on, no one will even know you exist. So what about the argument that we've heard a lot of conservatives use where they say, oh, well, they're a private business, they can kind of do whatever they want, they can pick and choose who they want to be on their platform. Um, do you think that it's possible for other rival social media companies to even compete in this environment? No, absolutely not. Um, the idea that you can kind of create your own Twitter or create your own YouTube, it's really impossible, especially when Google owns a lot of the uh, app store space. So, you know, BitChute, for example, is a competitor to YouTube, I guess, but y they can't even get it in the app store. So all you can get is desktop traffic. So there really is some hindrance there. And I think... Um, the whole, yeah, they're free, they're free to do whatever they want, their private platform argument really doesn't hold up anymore. What do you think about the fake news articles that have been out saying that Trump has invited a bunch of alt-right people to the White House? Yeah, they, they called us a bunch of uh, what, white supremacists or whatever, and Matt Gates is one of them, guys in Congress. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I actually didn't release uh, my invitation. I didn't tell anyone I was going just because I wanted to avoid those hit pieces. Yeah, I yeah. mean, they're pretty much going to smear anyone. They just keep moving the Overton window until finally even... Tim Pool and others are yeah. being labeled as alt-right or white supremacists. I mean, isn't this ridiculous? Oh, it's getting ridiculous. And it's a good thing, though, because I think the silent majority historically has been silent because they don't want to be called racist, sexist, homophobic, all these names. But the more you step up and the more you speak out, the more we realize that those insults and those name-calling things don't work. They call black people white supremacists. They call gay people homophobic. It's starting to get ironic. And the more and more we speak up and stand strong as a community and a culture on the right, the easier it is for them to be exposed for who they really are. Definitely. Well, thank you so much, Flycus. Hopefully we can catch up with you after the summit as well to find out what all went down and what new information you can tell us about. Of course. Sounds good. Love you guys. Thank all you. All right. Thank you, Flycus. When it comes to rebuilding your energy, convenience is key. While coffee, candy, and other sugary products can give you a short boost, the crash can leave you more tired than ever. Turbo Force from InfoWars Life is a powerful mix-in energy packet that utilizes vitamins, amino acids, and extracts used for hundreds of years to provide you focus, clarity, and a boost of energy on the go. Simply take a packet, mix it into the indicated amount of water, and enjoy. With 14 servings per box for a two week or more supply, this is the formula to stock up on whenever you need a boost. Perfect for work, in the car, or at home. Turbo Force is the ultimate answer to a sluggish day. Don't let your day slow you down. Perk up with Turbo Force at InfoWarsStore.com.